ultimately decided that I wanted to hurry up and get through this. I've ultimately decided I wanted to hurry up and get through this. Yeah, that too. Truth be told, I don't even know where I fucking left off. Uh, Chaz Pointer. What was I even doing way up here? Flaco Hernandez. Oh yeah, I just finished up uh finished up that mission. Alright, boy. I didn't do anything except prolong this fucking animal suffering. to turn that on every time I turn this fucking game on. I have to. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna get my bonding up again. There, boy. <laughs> You're all right, boy. Sorry, I jumped off a mountain with you. Nobody around here. What? Oh. oh. What the fuck? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, okay, 
that was weird. Where is this motherfucker? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I just go up there? What? No. That's what I'm aware of. I don't want
Just give me a minute, boy. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm aware of all that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, who's that? You in the wrong camp, stranger. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! <laughs> Okay, go and go. I'll take care of everything. I'll make sure I get all their stuff for you guys. I just want to loot. Alright, we're going to the shack, okay? here to speak with you about boy Calloway <coughs> I'm unarmed <coughs> well <coughs> I just want to talk about boy Calloway uh, here's your message Really? Hello, cheap. I hate the neutral system in this fucking game. Man, every time. I 
How do I? Man, I came all this way up here. God damn it. I'm gonna disarm this son of a bitch. I gotta remember to stay hydrated while I'm doing this. I get really dehydrated. Let's hope that you go right there. Get out to our main road. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can't figure it out? Main road right here, right? Yeah, there you go. You all right? There. Uh, you okay? Yeah, you're doing good. Got my ham on low in the slow cooker. Yeah, okay, boy. Water. Go lay down. Go lay down. I ain't getting none for you. I'm always thinking about you guys. Hmm. 
Oh, excuse me. Got it, number. Yeah. This has gotta be the most boring part of my stream right now. Why do I gotta fucking go? Sweet, I'm almost there. Ooh, what is this? It's not on my map. You ain't basin. Does that sound familiar? Oh, this is where. Okay. The address goes where that's right. It's all right, boy. Daddy took care of him. No, what are you doing? Won't take long, boy. <sighs> That's how we do it, good foul. Come on, boy. Easy, boy, you're okay.
Did I fucking run out? Stay, boy. It's a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... My nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel... I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually. Worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not... Usually they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh, there's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Put the weapon down, please. They've given no cause. Come on. Come on. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties.
don't seem to be fans of modern technology. On the other hand, looks like they may be... Kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things <coughs> happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? No. Who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. The only trophy I need is a photograph. And I hope it catches on. Well, just checking this equipment, if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. A much, much longer tube. And a cave to hide in, with bars on the outside. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> Do you think that photograph will come out? I can't say with certainty, but I'm hopeful, sir. I'm due some good luck, no? <laughs> Carry on like this. Here. <laughs> Way, boy. Yep. Boy. He 
Easy now. This here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Oh, financial matter, huh? I'm all ears. This here's ours. See if this safe is worth the effort. There a way to how do you open a safe? Appears I don't know how to open a safe. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go, boy. Yep. Easy there. trying to do to me here, game.
pair of gelding tongs. <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert. Ain't <laughs> What do you reckon, Morgan? I reckon you two are made for each other. <laughs> made for each other? <laughs> so, Arthur, when I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you be... I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Uh, you know, Don't forget I'll to go hunting, Mr. Later. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. Can't wait to taste this. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Bunch of sour faces. Cheer up, a lot of you. None of them women got the clap. None of you got lynched yet. Ain't none of you got married, neither. <laughs> way I see it, ain't no good in worrying about what may be. Worry about what you've got and ain't got, and none of you got nothing to worry about. Uh, just like my daddy told me. He said, son, don't worry about the future. Worry about today. And I said, what do you mean, Pa? He said, well, you're going to get a beating so hard, you'll be lucky to even see tomorrow. <laughs> he was right. Damn nearly killed me. But it taught me not to watch women in the outhouse and get caught. It also taught me not to worry about nothing other than that which is gonna happen. Turn into what? <laughs> no, I already did that. Damn it.
an intern on the run. Or my age, I thought I'd be living on some farm somewhere, having some serving girl feed me freshly peeled grapes and another massage on my feet. Bustle, bustle, think about well, things turn out. Mary G. How can so I'm stuck in the wilderness with you degenerates trying to stay warm. Young miss that dancing fool is talking. <laughs> No respect for my stuff. Just control the fuck I'm hanging anywhere. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! What? Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? What? <laughs> Who brought this on himself? You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over <coughs> you, Elizabeth. Oh, I excuse am me. asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, like a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, going, asshole? I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Come on! Oh! Oh! Here we are.
Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. I don't fuck with drunk people. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ah. Well. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Ready? Ready? Can't find my friend. You know where it went? No, I'm sorry. your mouth, mister. Well, that's why you ain't married. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Cheers. Cheers. Not you again. again. That horse don't listen. Never comes when the need. Close to I gotta fucking be. Back to camp, fucking call it from there. Damn that horse.
there. Me, Earth. Look who's back. Keep your eyes open for any trouble. Of course. Well, you don't need me distracting you. Sure, Arthur. Maybe one of us will pick There you go. Transport, keep clear. This is right. Let me out of here. Get work on the boat. Hey there, mister. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? This is Seamus 
He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what mm. it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah! Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type, by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. See the barn and the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. 
distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. Let's do it now. All right, then. <coughs> Don't fall on me. <laughs> wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, oh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Yep. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name, my name is, now don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been paid. I've been pounded. Oh, you know, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut. You think I'm a nut for proper the bird. I'm interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Better just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit better. Uh, uh. This session has been free to scratch the night call again. How much will it cost? I'm not offering you virility and you're asking me about money. Sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it.
man, the waiting is the worst part. So well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Why are we going so slow? Damn it, they're on to us. We need to get out of here. I guess I could have taken that a little slower. Damn it! Must have spotted us riding out. Uh, yeah. I guess I should have tried leaving the back way. Too late now. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet. Slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hi there, mister. Hi. Hey, you there. Can I have a word? What you need? It's all right. Changed my mind. All right, then. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I ran right for him. Yeah. 
least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, get scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Hell, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Come on, Morgan. Pick up the pace here. Go. Steer us back on the road. Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Easy. Follow the trail southwest. You're gonna get us killed. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the road. Remote, but she'd still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this. I should have seen that the track. They'll stop you. Hey, take it easy. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards in the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. Oh, you disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here. Just go. <laughs> now, as I was saying, that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right back. Ah, oh, damn it, Mark. Alright. You driving like a bad man. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineers. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Here's good. 
Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this ride, nobody needs to die. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. It's faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Come on up. Thank you. Everybody stay calm and no sure. don't get shot. I am go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. This is unnecessary. Please. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please, please, don't help me. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Money, hey. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Please. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. You two seem to think we're playing games. Sick is better than that, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Good job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why? that? Come on! So this is unnecessary. Everything you got money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Je vous en prie. Honey, now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. No. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here after. <laughs> Twice the chance of hitting someone. Very <laughs> <laughs> funny. We'll take that. So, uh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Posh bastard. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know. That's what's worrying me. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. All right, what? we should probably be going now. 
We're fine. I'm not worried about it. What time you gotta go to work? I wanna call them and see how their uh we got a problem. There's two assholes labor's doing right now. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Okay. Austin, Smith, get ready. Men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off the train. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. Cool. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank, enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Slow up now. Yeah. Uh Dollars. Mm. Um, I haven't done that mission yet, so it's a little interesting. Shows up. Stay 
Stay here, boy. Yeah, a lot more to lose there, bud. I my gun out. Morning. Morning, Arthur. No more deaths, Mr. Matthew. Strauss. It's in a death of nature. How's it going? <clears throat> Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> Button, so, ah, oh, damn it. Damn it! Come back in! Why did it cut me off? Why did it cut me off? Maintain. Thank you. Look at all that, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Don't talk to me. Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. 
Okay. Thank you. Oh, she just up and disappeared. Oh shit, I went too far. Because you were talking to me. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. All right, boy. Ah, sorry, boy. Just gonna stick that right in my horse's ice hole. down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about being brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. I'm gonna show up on my map. Oh, or do I just fucking get it? Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. <coughs> Just by the water there? You First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bell cheese. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Got one, Jack. I see. I see. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. 
<coughs> really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Jerry, how's that cooking anyway? How's that cooking anyways? There, got him. Now seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling huh? him in nice and steady. Okay. Oh, this one's a red fin picker. Not bad. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, <coughs> try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to kids. I think you've got a fight. Look. Whoop, think I got one. Man, keep getting all these tiny ones. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back.
I didn't get a fish. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? So, I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There <coughs> you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Morning. 